Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode of our mystery series, we saw that Mr. Cobb has just discovered quite a disaster in his old cornfields all, all the way over there. Oh dear. This is going to be some serious trouble if all the corn is destroyed and they're not able to grow enough for the everybody else before winter. Oh dear. Let's see what happens next. Mr. Cobb had just climbed up the tallest tree he could find in the valley of the boulders, and he looked over to the other side. What on earth could have happened over there? Oh no, this is terrible. I gotta go over there and investigate what in the world is going on. He had seen many cornfields in his day, uh, uh, but not one before quite like this. It was more than halfway chewed up and broken. The, the stalks were not healthy, and the corn looked like it had been feasted on over and over again, and... Oh dear. Well, as he slithered down the tree and headed on his way to that cornfield, he was desperate to figure out what went wrong with that field. He touched the ground and started slithering in the right direction. But it was just then that he heard uh, an old voice. Hey, who goes there? An old voice called. What are you doing back here? Back here, replied Mr. Cobb. He'd never been there before. Um, I, I'm Mr. Cobb. I I just came from that field over there. I, I've never been here. Who are you? Where are you? Mr. Cobb looked around. Uh, everywhere, up in the tree, in front of him, behind him, nothing. But then finally, like an old rock was moving. Oh my, that is not a rock. Why, hello there. It was a small, slow, old box turtle coming out from under a burrow in the rocks. Sorry there, these old eyes thought you were another one of your kind... Oh, no, don't worry. It's just me. I, you know, I, I get that sometimes the people get me confused for something else, but it's just me. All right, hold on a second. We've got to figure out what kind of critter Mr. Cobb is. Have you figured it out yet? Hmm. Well, uh, let's go over the clues. It's very good at climbing trees. Uh, I think I remember... Uh, that he doesn't have arms or legs. Do you remember that part? Wow, what kind of critter doesn't have arms or legs? Oh, wait, did you say a snake? Maybe. Maybe it's a snake. Maybe. Oh, yeah. He rattled, rattled his tail like a rattlesnake. Oh, wait. No, he wasn't a rattlesnake, though. Hmm, let's keep thinking. Uh, he lives in cornfields. Are there any snakes that come to mind that live in cornfields? Oh! <gasps> A corn snake! Do you think Mr. Cobb is a corn snake? Yes, I think he is! Corn snakes live in the corn. They scare the mice away. They actually eat mice as well. Uh, they're pretty good climbers, and 
Yeah, they rattle their tail like that in the leaves to make it sound like they're a rattlesnake, but they're actually not. Great job, critter protectors. So what, do you know what happened to that field over there? Asked Mr. Cobb. Years ago, the yellow guardians used to patrol those parts. They kept it healthy, but decided to leave one day. The rodents, they have had domain ever since. Wow, that's terrible. I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to ask your name. What is your name? My friends call me Buck. Well, Buck, I've just never seen a cornfield with that much damage before. Yep. Without the patrol, the rodents just keep on coming. They eat the corn. They destroy the crops, and even the farmers are at a loss. <sighs> Mr. Cobb looked out across the field to a small barn in the distance. His crop uh, of corn had one of these farmers, but he never thought much about them. Once a tall, lanky creature with a dark blue suit, a strange thing on his head, and a huge machine stopped and picked him up. It moved him out of the way of his machine and kept on going whatever he was doing. It's like this farmer knew it was important to have a corn snake in his field. Mr. Cobb thought a minute about how underappreciated he had felt earlier and how his job didn't even matter. Do you remember that part? Yeah, he was feeling pretty sad about no one even caring that he existed or was doing his job, but he just now realized that he was actually really important. When he patrolled and, and snacked on all those rodents in the field, he was actually saving the corn. Well, thanks, Buck. This has been a, a great making a new friend here. <sighs> You're welcome, Mr. Cobb. Uh, let's hang out again sometime. Bye. Buck the box turtle waved his head side to side as his way of in a waving goodbye, Mr. Cobb watched as he walked away. Well, thanks, Buck. I, I need to get home, too. My job is actually really important. See you soon. Mr. Cobb headed back to his own cornfield. He was actually now excited to get back to his job. Wow, I'm so happy that Mr. Cobb now found a purpose for his job. A really important one because he got to see what a cornfield looks like if it doesn't have a corn snake in it, protecting it from all the mice. Wow. I bet his whole life is going to be a lot better now knowing his purpose and it, that it's really important. That may be the end of Mr. Cobb's story, but I'm sure glad that he learned a valuable lesson with some help from our friend Buck the Box Turtle. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. Do you remember that cool fact about snakes that they have that covering over their eyes? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a sunglasses or a contact lens, but every time that they shed their skin, that layer of scale comes popping right off and they get a brand new one to protect their eyes. Because remember, snakes can't blink. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.